this is our project, Helical Fiber. To start off, I will be talking about our concept generation, our mission statement, and our customers and customer needs. And then I'll talk about the QFD and our game chart. I'll, I'll talk about the economy and analysis and the technical analysis. At the beginning of our project planning phase, each team member proposed one idea. The first idea w was related to math. Um, specifically, it was about geometry, and it was geared towards students in geometry and algebra in middle school and high school. This project would specifically um, engage students in the um, in finding the hypotenuse and angles of triangles. Our second project was a project related to biology and physics. This specifically would test students' knowledge of amino acid base pairs and the conservation of energy. This project would be mainly geared towards students who were in biology and physics, generally in high school. Our last project was about physics and covered topics in conservation of energy and relative motion. Students would engage with balls at different heights and varying energies and a moving platform. This would engage students in physics classes during high school as well. Um, after comparing all the projects, we decided that the biology and physics project was the most important and the one we should pursue because it engaged students in multiple topics and it was very versatile and interactive for students because it was composed of several components for students to choose and build. Our mission statement was to design a product that was relatively cheap so teachers and parents could buy this product for students to practice their concepts in biology and physics as well as um, mechatronics. Furthermore, we wanted to encourage students to, to pursue STEM fields as this is a growing field. And we wanted to help prepare students in eighth grade and ninth grade for their SOLs in physics and biology. Um, our, as far as our customers, we wanted to engage, uh, we wanted to target science teachers as they can use this product as an activity for their students in class. Um, parents who want to reinforce concepts with their children, administrative staff or science departments, um, instructional leaders so they can purchase that for their um, students and teachers, and STEM summer camps. Also, as far as customer needs, we felt it was important to include several science topics within the product. We wanted to make sure the product was durable and easy to assemble, easy to assemble so it could be used multiple times by the students in multiple years. And we wanted to have multiple assembly options so it was interactive for the student and that there were multiple components for them to choose and build them. In the QFD, we assign several metrics that correspond with our customer needs, as Brittany mentioned before. Those metrics are the weight of the DRG, a maximum assembled volume, cost, and a student survey, which would uh, indicate whether they enjoyed the BRG in assembling it and whether or not it reinforced the concepts it was meant to. And that would be scaled on a scale of one to five, with five meaning they extremely enjoyed the BRG and one meaning they disliked it greatly. And we would also have a assembly time as a target. We want to minimize the weight and the cost and the assembly time so that students are more likely to find the BRG enjoyable. And while minimizing the cost, we can have the BRG appeal to a wider array of customers and hopefully increase our customer base. And then we just have a target maximum assembled volume. And we would want the student survey from the BRG to have a higher value, as higher value indicates more enjoyability. For the technical priority and difficulty of each task, we decided that the maximum assembled volume would be the most difficult for us to achieve as we have several assembly options, which would mean there is a greater number of parts, which would increase the amount of space the BRG takes up. And so we have the maximum weight set at 10 pounds, maximum volume at about two to three cubic feet, 
uh, cost of materials for the BRG should ideally be under $50. And then the enjoyability of the BRG, we would like an average value of above three, if possible. And then an assembly time of under 30 minutes if students are assigned in teams of two or three to assemble the BRG. In our Gantt chart, we have outlined several critical tasks in red, and those are the intellectual property search, where we looked for products similar to our BRG, and then the concept generation, our product architecture and prototyping phase are also critical tasks. The prototyping phase is our longest period of time in our project because we decided that fabrication takes the most amount of time to actually des uh, design the pieces. And then also, we wanted to make sure that the BRG could reliably function. As far as the colony, which was our the first scenario, before, uh, which, which is mentioned the uh, custom price, because for the interest of our, of our BRG project per, item, the, the interest is pretty low. Therefore, the scenario why the best is our is the best choice for our project. And uh, the second price of our of our BRG is one hundred eighty eight dollars, including one hundred dollars cost. Specifically, there are there are six dollars of materials and four percent of the four percent of the cost from the fixed cost. We can see we can see from our chart the breaking point is the intersection, which is about 174 products sold, and uh, the total revenue the total revenue is is like so so. We are going to sell like to the middle and the high school students, and based on my research, there are 46, uh, 49 middle schools within the uh, road and the black area, and uh, 20, uh, 20 high schools. Uh, so, it, ideally, if we we can sell four products per school, then we can sell more than four hundred products within a year. So the total revenue is going to be. More than eighty thousand dollars, and the co and the profits should be around thirty thousand uh, dollars a year. So, uh, another issue I want to address is like uh, based on our product constraint and the effect of the market, it will be the market saturation. So we have to conti continuously update our features, which which makes the product more functional. So as for our conclusion, our BRG product is basically uh, a product that reinforcing the biology, physics, and the microtropic concept to the middle school and high school students uh, because it, ha it has a pre pretty high performance, which is s curves. And uh, for our GAN chart, our concept selection and prototyping takes the longest time. We just uh, want to you know, we just want to make sure our product is is feasible to fabricate it, uh, and so that we can maximize chance of a success for our, of completion. And uh, last but not, not at least, for the economy, uh, I think I think our price of the of the BRG is pretty reasonable and feasible, and uh, we can also earn like more than thirty thousand dollars in a year. So. Compared with other health models without any functions on online, so I think we can, I think we we, we can make a pretty pretty good, pretty good pretty good futures. So you know, uh, then we can like to make the market to make our BRG product statewide. Thank you. That's our presentation.